What is going on guys, Luxor Gaming here, and welcome back to what I've named my favorite classes. <laughs> I didn't, I couldn't think of a good name for this one, because um, I didn't want to do like try hard because that makes it seem like I'm doing like, oh, I looked up six builds and I'm doing this, it, that's not, it's not what I'm doing. Also completely fucked up on my main character, um, so that's a thing, <laughs> but whatever, whatever. Um, it, he'll still be fine for the most part, but we get to do two more and what I'm going to do, come, come on, can't just load. Let's see. What do I want to make? Actually, I'm trying to think what makes sense. I guess a pure elf makes a lot of sense. These aren't elves. The elves are at the top. Oh, the game is chugging trying to load all these. Let's see, so that's, here we go. That one kind of works. Oh, I oh yeah, that's a half elf though, so that's fine. Oh, it could be a dude. We do have a bunch of ladies, so let's make it a dude. That's a dope for a barbarian. Let's see, this is gonna be a range person. Let's find a good ranger. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, there we go. Is that guy? That's a guy. Okay. So you're going to be a straight up elf. Uh, face. <laughs> face looks so feminine for some reason. You got a square ass head. Beautiful. And then. Alright. Ed Sheeran. That's not Ed Sheeran. That's, um. Who's he look like? There's another artist he looks like, but it's not Ed Sheeran. I <laughs> just this is like the first ginger I thought of. All right, wait, what? Go back. Did just reset, my dude. Oh, was I not on mail? There you go. That works. Do we have... No, it's still the same. <laughs> it looks... Th this is horrifying. We need to... You'll have a tiny head. It's a square head, but it's tiny. Okay. <laughs> that was all bad. Now, just... I really like this class. The the summoner. Um, oh, now that I think about it, if we're going to do this one... He gets all the teamwork feet thingies. So we, we will make him our, um, our, what's it called? Our melee. But I want to give him a spear. So let's actually change him to a, let's do an orc. Don't do orcs that often. And they're super good, so. Let's see, what's a good? That one's terrifying. That one's cool. That one's cool, but it's very obviously a monk. Hmm. What do any of you have spears though? Why do you hate spears though? I mean, we could just go like that. Yeah, there you go. Just a bald boy. Half orc. Sweet hat. You have the kind of yellowy skin. I can't see his hair. He has no beard. All right, that's fine. Whatever. We're going to go with that. <laughs> and then we picked, of course, Monster Tactician. Now, Deity, we want one that... Oh, where's the one that uses a glaive? Oh, that's perfect. Where is my glaive user? Because swore I passed it. No, it's Shaylin. Glaive. And you're going to go with... Charm. Stand action, you can unleash a f arc of electricity targeting any foe. Targeting any foe. Wait. Okay. Let's do air. That's kind of cool. He's like a lightning orc. So he needs some wisdom. He needs some strength. That's too much. <laughs> Let's do... Do strength, and we'll drop that down too. 
and buff up Khan. Now I was asked um, if I if I because I know I can drop these. Um, in general, I don't super like to. Um, just I'm not going for super min maxed. Um, also I know I have trickery on another person, but I like having it on two. And we're just gonna go like that, I think. Yeah. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. There's something about dropping it. Cause I like, I like to think that like at 10, everybody's like a C roughly. And so unless it's like, it makes sense for the character, I don't like to drop it. Um, plus I mean, everything's kind of useful to some extent. Um, so yeah, generally I don't do it. I have thought of doing as a gimmick one, having six characters for complete extremes of each one. Um, cause there is, I believe there's six, right? Yeah. So you could do one person who's a complete extreme of one of them and just seeing how that goes. <laughs> but, uh, we don't need to worry about that quite yet. Um, also, I don't know why it took so much wisdom now that I'm thinking about it. He gets a lot of self buffs. Eh, ah, that's fine. We'll rock that. And then we're gonna do... I do like power attack. We'll do power attack. Yeah. And then we'll do... Let's see. He's gonna be... So we already have her... We'll, we'll do Bane with him. We'll do Bane and... Divine Favor. Yeah, because he could be another... My skills exceed yours. No. We have to, right? We'll do... Um... He's going to be Chaotic Good. And this is going to be... Gromscar. There we go. Why? I don't know. But there is our... Um, our... Last melee person. And he is... He's technically... He kind of uses magic, but not really. And you're just going to use your glaive, so let's get this other shit out of here. Beautiful. Did he start with a, a regular spear? Short spear? Yeah. This is... Yeah, six feet. Okay, so yeah, he'll rock a glaive. Which is... Pretty good. I'll take it. Okay, and then for our last person, now this person's going to be magic based. Yeah, okay, because I originally thought about making that person the ranged, but that doesn't super work anymore. God, the tieflings look so cool. She looks kind of like a like a rat. It's weird. That's really cool. See, that one's dope, but I don't know what I'd make. Um, now the last one's actually a class that I don't super play. At least I think so. Yeah, let's do this one. You're gonna be a female tiefling. Oh, those are horns. Very pale. Like that one. And then actually those horns work. And the hair works too, actually. There she is. <laughs> the face is a little hood. But you know, yeah, we'll keep it. Okay. So with this one, yeah, you're gonna be a tiefling. Um, you are going to be as much as kind of like, I thought about being like, oh, I can make a sorcerer and actually try to go dragon disciple or I can make an arcane trickster, all that kind of stuff. I'm actually going to go druid. I don't really do druid all that much. Um, just because, you know, I don't, I'm not like in love with it, but the idea being going Druid and going, um, why is, oh, oh, it goes large and huge and going elemental, I think, um, it's, it's one I haven't done before, um, but I do like the idea of having the, the Druid and it does get some cool stuff, um, and going more spellcasty with it. I thought about doing a Blight Druid cause it comes, it doesn't come with the, um, the what do you call it the pet which actually this could be really cool let's see starting on the fifth level of a blight druid adjacent to a creature at the beginning of its turn the creature must so that's if it, that's more tanky though any creature that strikes yeah it's all tanky stuff okay 
So not spontaneous summoning. Oh yeah, that's whatever. Defender of the true world. True world. Now yeah, all these have Fey magic. Fey speaker uses her charisma score instead of her wisdom score as key spell casting. Adds one enchantment or illusion spell from the sorcerer wizard list to her druid spells. That's actually pretty cool. And still can become a huge elemental. That's interesting. Uh, change to a leopard or a small elemental. And then this one's a shambling mound or a medium. This is a, oh yeah, a bear. Smolodon, a huge elemental. Let's do this one. Let's try a face speaker. That seems kind of cool. Now, as for this one, they can use blindness, use haste, laughter. So let's see, wait, what? It said charisma. I use charisma instead. Yeah, so this is a charismatic one. Okay. So plus two on dex and charisma. Beast brood and gains blindness. Looking for one that does charisma. Constitution wisdom. No minus two penalties to charisma. Strength and charisma. Racial bonus on trickery and perception. Can use the stone call spell once per day. They gain plus two racial bonus on all rolls to confirm criticals. That's pretty cool. Shackleborn. Mobility and persuasion. They can use the web spell. They gain a natural AC. Okay. Spite spawn. Uh, let's see. They can use a sound burst spell and they add plus one to the DC of any saving throws against enchantment spells that they cast. That's pretty good. That could be really good too because we're fey and so we get enchantment spells. Or just a tiefling. Plus two to dex and. Oh, okay. Let's do spite spawn. That actually sounds pretty cool. Oh, we get to choose either an animal companion or a domain. They're close to... Let's do domain. Air is lightning arc. We have that on our other person, though, so let's not do that one. Earth, acid dart, acid resistance. Let's see. Fire, plant. As a swift action, you can enlarge yourself for one round. Let's see... As if you're the target of an enlarged person, well, you can use this power a number of times per day equal to 3 plus your wisdom modifier. Oh, that's annoying because these are all going to be based on wisdom. Ugh. Bramble armor is cool, though. Icicle. Well, we'll just do an animal companion. That's fine. Not the most ideal thing in the world, but you know what? Whatever. Let's see. I want something... Hmm... I want something that's actually like on the smaller side. There's none that are actually just like straight up small. Be Wait, the leopard at fourth level becomes medium. Let's do a leopard. We're gonna do a little leopard running around. I like it. And so you're gonna do good decks, a little bit of con, whole bunch of charisma. And we'll do that. Yeah. Although, let's see. Uh, my voice cracked there, which is gross. <laughs> um, we'll do that. And then do persuasion, because I don't think we have that on anybody. Nature and perception. Beautiful. Okay. So we have, we have a weird little fade druid. Now, as far as feats go, we're gonna take... I'm gonna take Iron Will, I think, to start. Ooh, or Spell Pen. Let's do Spell Pen. Contemplate on your mistakes. Perfect. And she's gonna be... Let's see. What are you gonna be named? Your name is going to be... I'm trying to think of a plant-based name. Just like... I don't know. Willow. That's perfect. 
You're gonna be neutral good. Our path leads on. Cool, okay. So we got the face speaker. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs> it's like lightly debating whether or not I want that or not. This is also gonna be a longer episode, but that's okay. You guys should be used to that at this point. Now, the way we want to do it is like that. Oh yeah, I forgot everybody's all jacked up because we need to actually... So let's see, so you... Oh, I forgot we had the leopard. <laughs> Go like that. This is all kinds of jank, whatever. We're just gonna do what I like to call the pizza, the pizza alignment. A bunch of little pepperonis in the shape of a triangle. Now it looks like a pool. Whatever. What well, you guys know what it? Whatever. Whatever. All right, let's level up our other people. Gimli, the fighter, is getting bravery and a bonus combat feat. Taking the two things he's good at, and weapon focus is not gonna happen for you yet. Um. Let's see, endurance, improved initiative's nice on them because they have crap. Um, what do you call it? What was I trying to say? I forgot what I was trying to say. Oh yeah, they have crap uh, initiative. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna take, I think, missile shield. I like that idea. We'll just eat up some stuff. And again. As much as I, I I would like it to be, see what I was gonna do is go monk, but I forgot to pick any lawfuls, and so I can't. Um, which is fine. We don't super need it. It would have just given us flurry of blows, but we're gonna get a bunch of attacks anyway, so it's fine. Poison resistant, and we get our medical discovery. Take trickery, take stealth, take perception, take use magic device. Now we get the showstopper. Feral Mutagen right out the gate. So that will give us great unarmed attacks. And we'll just take Fire Belly and... What do I want to take? We'll take Targeted Bomb. Eh, there's no... Oh, no, we only get one, so we're taking Fire Belly. Okay. Sick. Now our Cleric is going to stay a Cleric. And you're going to get all of these things. And you just... You get nothing. <laughs> great. Jaina, Miss Proudmore, is going to get all this. Also, speaking of which, I've been playing WoW recently. At first I started with Classic, and then like I got the itch to play the normal WoW. Man, that game, that game is wild. I'm leveling up a Druid right now, and it's, man, that game, you just blink and two hours are gone. Look at the little kidders, so cute. It's adorable. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Does, uh, let me see. Do you, you, why do you have a fucking scimitar? Let's get, let's get you guys some other stuff. Also, I really need to do spell books before I sleep. So let's see. So you have entangled acid maw. I actually quite like acid maw for her. If she's going to have the, the pet, um, cause that does, that will make it so that um, the pet naturally kills trolls, which is dope. I expect that the falcon could be pretty good. Long strider ray is sickening. I like the idea of ray is sickening a little bit. Hmm. Or aspect of the falcon so that she's a good shot. Let's do that. We'll do we'll do a couple buffs at the start. Cause a lot of her stuff affects us as well. So I'm not super hyped about using that. Now you are gonna do I see, do we have somebody who makes sense to enlarge? I mean I guess there's no harm in enlarging him. Although no, because he's supposed to be reduced. I guess you'd enlarge our tank. Plus two bonus to strength, a negative two bonus to dex. On attack rolls and AC due to increased size, melee and ranged weapons used by this creature deal more damage. So it's just strength, so it's not really that good for him. And then I guess we could give it to him. To old Gromskar over here, but... 
It's a it's negative two. Oh, just a dex. Okay, we'll do that. Now, faith gets divine favor. No, we're not gonna do. Oh, but all yours are kind of garbage. Maybe divine favor is what we're gonna take. Yeah, I guess so. That kind of sucks. And then, other than that, we'll do remove fear. And we'll do remove sickness. Because she's just a healer and a buffer. Like, that's what her, her point is. Now, for you, you have shield, reduce person. Let's see, we could take true, true strike. Also take fire belly. It does last one minute per level. You're hot to the touch. As staring action, you can breathe a 15-foot cone. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. So you do it, and it lasts one minute per level, but if you use the attack, it reduces. I mean, to me, I guess it's five fire resistance. Like, there's no reason not to. Then you don't get any spells. Okay. 21 minutes into this, we're ready to go. Actually, that's not true, because we need a... We need a... Um, what is it? A heavy crossbow. I guess we can afford a masterwork, yeah. Actually, I think we need two. Because she has... Man, we have a bunch of crossbows. Which is not ideal. Oh, you can't use a heavy crossbow? It's a simple weapon, though. They can use it. So one of them will get it. And then we'll give her the... Um, let's see, who... We'll give it to you. Why can't she use this? Is there a reason... Dude, can FaZe not use... Alignment restriction. Druid proficiencies. Druids are proficient with the following. Druids are proficient with light medium armor, but are prohibited from wearing metal, thus they may only wear... A druid may also wear wooden armor that has been altered. Proficient with seals, but must use only wooden ones. Oh, she can use a sling. And a dart. What the hell? That's so weird. Okay. So we might have to make her... Can I just buy a sling? Sling staff. Doesn't that use... Yeah, use strength. Is that, does that even count as a regular sling? What have I gotten myself into? Yeah, because the dart uses strength. So dagger, corrosive spear, that's melee. Mistakes were made. Yeah, it uses strength. All of them use strength. Let's see. Yeah, Masterwork Dart, Masterwork Club, Masterwork Dagger. Masterwork Core Staff, Masterwork Scimitar, Short Spear, Sickle, Spear. Yeah, so she can't even use the um, Sling Stash. She can use a Sling, which I've never even seen in this game. Ugh. Okay. So I think the goal then will be able to give her... Simple weapon proficiency? One of the weapon proficiencies, as soon as possible. Did just punch the mic, sorry about that. Let me see you. Hmm, okay. Well, lesson learned. Did not know druids were like that. But that's okay. I love the fucking cat, it's so good. <laughs> it's so dumb. Okay, we're all rested. Let's go into the dungeon. We will do one for sure. 
and then get out of here. What I'm going to do is as soon as she levels up, I'm going to get the range weapon proficiency, either simple or martial if I can, um, just so she can use <laughs> a bow um, or some kind of range weapon that's not strength based because, you know, kind of kind of screwed her over going decks, but that's okay. Never claimed to be a master at this game. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Let's see, we are kind of... Now, luckily, that does make him... That should have made him feral. Feral made... Whenever the alchemist buys with... Him... Oh, yeah, he has claw weapons. Cool. So we now have claw weapons and two bite attacks. Um, other than that... I guess we can do this real quick, so let's give yourself that. You are just going to have those two. You're going to do that. You are going to enlarge him. Yeah. Then you're going to do that. Let all those go off. I'm trying to make it a little more efficient, so I'm pausing. Now, Blessing of the Faithful can bless one ally within close range. A blessed ally gains plus two sacred bonus on attack until the next turn. Okay. An inspiring word is a next turn as a well one. Number of rounds equal to half your level. Okay. Yeah. Blessing of Faithful short. Wait, what is... A number, oh, a number of rounds equal to the number of dice of the Echo Thurge channel energy. What? <laughs> Uh, what do you six? Oh, so every two cleric levels. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So the short one's actually better. Well, that's arguable, but you know what I mean. I stand ready. Yeah, you're still casting in large. One day you'll get that off. There we go. Beautiful. And then give mage armor to the alchemist, I think. There we go. And we'll take reduced person. Does it take forever to cast? It does. I hate that. I want that not to be a thing. Alright, let's do it though. So he's a little baby. And we have a giant. I like that they're next to each other too. Get in there, baby. He's shorter than the dwarf. Alright, let's go. Is this going to be another... Oh, no. There we go. Oh, we instantly go up against a flame shaman. Okay. Look at the leopard go. It's so cute. And he just made something explode. Beautiful. All right. Oh, there's another one here. Go get him. He's shielded. Too bad. You're about to die. <laughs> just no chance. No chance at all. Where's the door? There it is. At low levels, got to make it so that we actually make use of the, the buffs, so we gotta hurry. <laughs> this is a sprint. Okay, so this is a fancy one. I'm not worried about anything in here, though, to be fair. Bam. Come on, get him. There we go. Continue, oh, the door's right there. Oh, there's a thing, though. Hey, good job. Let's go. Keep running. We're almost out of time. <laughs> Get through this room. Not that these early levels matter though, so. You know. Whatever. Also, man, having the leopard so fast. I like it though, because it gets to the point where it is uh, disrupting very quickly. Somehow, some way, we, have, we still have our buffs. Which is pretty wild. Can we just attack? Oh, no chance, sir. The sneak attack bite. Getting absolutely rocked. I was successful in my search. Now we did probably... Yeah, the buffs are gone. Let me... Let me quickly scan. Make sure we didn't miss a... A, uh... Chest. There's one right there. There could be one over here, but is it that big of a deal? Nah. Nah. 
Let's go. Do you, don't you have... No, you don't. Okay. Let's go. What we got in here? Okay. I was like, there's no way... I've never seen a room that had nothing and also no buff area. Hey, everybody gets Cat's Grace, which is great. I think that's the one buff. Oh, that's why it's Cat's Grace, because it's a mutagen. Um, I think that's the one buff that this party is probably most necessary. Or, like, it might be the best, like, full group buff that I can think of. Because, like, almost everyone, to some extent, uses decks. Like, because a lot of times if you don't have the the wizards using, um... I did not think that was a wand. Um, a lot of times if you have the, the wizards not casting, they're shooting... Some kind of bow or something like that. What is our fucking dwarf doing? Just fucking dicking around in the corner back there. Like a big old doofus. We do get light armor. That's fancy. So that's good. Take that. Let's leave. Everybody's leveling up. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now we're only going to level one person. And that is... The, oh, that... Uh, fuck it. We'll do both of them. But we're going to do her... She got spell pen last time, yeah. Cause she's oh, but she doesn't get a fucking thing this time. God damn it. Oh well. Uh, you get one more. How about you take knowledge world? Okay, so we have to wait till next level to get her a bow, and we might as well do Gromscar, who I didn't have summon anything. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Our our front line's kind of crowded as is. Inquisitor adds her wisdom modifier on initiative checks in addition to dex. That's dope. Okay. So it's a good thing we have good wisdom. Bam. Beautiful. You get one. You're going to take... Hmm. I kind of like inflict light wounds. Let's do inflict light wounds. You're a damage dealer. You're a crazy orc. It works. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> so once again, made a slight mistake in building the druid. But to be fair, I've never made a fey druid before. So, I don't know. Cut me some slack or something. Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> but I'm going to get out of here. We'll sell all the stuff um, next time and then do uh, a couple of runs. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully, see you next time. See ya.